Tonight we're going in depth on road safety. Traffic fatalities are up drastically nationwide, but they're actually down here in Rhode Island. And I spoke with local police and state officials to find out why, learning how they track crashes on local roads and what's being done to protect you. It's a sight many drivers dread. Police officers with laser technology. See this white truck? Watching for speeders handing out tickets. But like it or not, police tell us patrols like this one on Route 6 in Johnston can change lives. You like giving out tickets? It's not our most favorite job, but it's, a, it's part of it. We're out here to reduce crashes, fatalities. Lieutenant Joe Salvador knows too well how dangerous this stretch of road can be. We've had multiple fatalities on this uh, road, Route 6. Most recently, we had the double fatal accident at the gas station here. We've had multiple motor vehicle accidents, pedestrian struck. But patrols like this can only do so much. Local police also rely on the Department of Transportation to make safety upgrades on roads that badly need them. Uh, the first thing we identify is the type of crashes that lead to fatal and serious injuries. Bob Rocchio, the acting chief engineer at RIDOT, tells me these are the deadly crash types researchers look for. A uh, single vehicle run off the road hitting a fixed object like a tree or a telephone pole. The worst places in the state for those? 95 North at the Pawtucket S-curves with 57 road departure crashes over the last five years. And 295 North in Johnston near the Route 6 overpass with 28 road departure crashes crashes or it's a cross meeting where they they drive left of center and, and hit another vehicle head on by far the most wrong way accidents in the state happen on route 10 north in providence near reservoir avenue with 38 such crashes in a five-year stretch the third type is these t-bone or right angle crashes that occur at intersections the number one spot on rydot's improvement list for those pleasant valley parkway and kinsley street in providence with 24 broadside or head-on crashes over five years we constantly look at the uh, crash data and once we uh, determine where those uh, type crashes are happening and that's where we come up with our lists. Those lists tell engineers exactly where life-saving improvements can be made. Oftentimes that means expanding old roads that weren't meant to handle today's increased traffic volume. Adding a lane, that, that seems to be a common thread here. It's yeah, adding lanes, adding um, the widening intersections, turn lanes, um, and whatever we can do quickly if it's a signing, striping, uh, traffic signal. So if we can do it quick and cheaply, we will prioritize that. RIDOT and police departments like Johnston are also hoping to reduce fatalities with campaigns against drunk and wrong way driving. And so far, these efforts are paying off in a big way. Coming up new at 6 tonight, we'll tell you about a major drop in traffic deaths. And right now, on our website, you can see RIDOT's list of roads most in need of safety improvements, along with a work plan for those locations and how much the work will cost. It's on WDPRI.com. New details now in a story you saw only on Eyewitness News, road safety. At 5, we showed you the steps being taken right now by local police and the Department of Transportation to reduce traffic deaths in Rhode Island. And new at 6, how those efforts have paid off and two new campaigns that hope to save even more lives. Traffic fatalities are on the rise in the U.S. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, deadly crashes increased 9% from 2011 to 2015. But here in Rhode Island, fatal crashes are down 20% during that same period. Local police tell me preventing tragedy starts with making sure drivers follow the rules of the road. We're looking uh, for speeding violations, uh, equipment violations, like an expired inspection sticker. The majority of the accidents I've responded to in, in which were fatalities were speed involved, but also have been uh, alcohol involved, drug impairment. Another major factor preventing and spotting impaired drivers. Almost 40% of all our fatal crashes are alcohol is involved in that crash. The Rhode Island Department of Transportation has implemented a 10-year, $1.7 billion roadworks initiative, not only to fix roads and bridges, but to improve safety. $200 million is dedicated to doing just that. The highest crash locations get ranked at the top initially. We do a second screening and we look at the cost and whatever we can do quickly, if it's a signing, striping, uh, traffic signal, it's so if we can do it quick and cheaply, we will prioritize that. Robert Rocchio is the acting chief engineer at RIDOT. He tells me another deadly issue, wrong way driving. There were, I think, 13 fatal crashes in, in a four or five year period. 
RIDOT's project included a new wrong-way driving detection alerting system. Rocchio also tells me his department is constantly looking at crash sites around the state to help RIDOT compile data to improve road safety. He says they're always updating their 10-year plan to better attack accident-prone areas.